Okay, welcome back to our last tutorial on Camera Raw. We're going to edit a couple photos and then talk about something else that I haven't mentioned in the other tutorials. Go ahead and select this picture and then this picture of this guy and this girl. And then go ahead and open it. And I have it open already. And Camera Raw opens up because I have the NEF extension or the CRW or the DNG. Um, it indicates it's a raw file. First thing I'm going to do is take my white balance tool and click right about here, see if I can neutralize the colors. And then I'm going to notice something immediately. I look at my histogram over here and I can see that if I turn on this clipping, pressing O the shortcut, I'm going to see something clip. It's going to be this area here, so I'm going to have to be careful. But at the same time, I also know that I'm missing, I can bring out some more, um, I can increase the exposure. So let me try this. Now I could mess with the temperature and tint, but I think I'm I'm happy with it. So if I were to move from 4,000 to, see it's already getting orangey. I don't know, I don't want orangey. Okay. So I'm happy with the temperature tint. I'm going to move on to exposure. I'm going to increase the exposure a little to bring out. I'm going to mess with the recovery next to see if I can bring some more detail out into that clipped area. Okay, great. Do I need to use the fill light? Well, it's always nice to check, but I think it's not really because I already have the detail I need. Blacks, maybe make it a little bit darker. Not much. Okay. Brightness, I don't want to mess with that. Um, contrast, let's see what happens here. Oh, that's nice. It brings it in a little bit better. Great. Now let me add some clarity. Look at that. Wow. You can see the difference right here. Look in this area right here. There you go. Don't, but don't want to overdo it. And vibrance to bring some color into the photo. Yeah. Okay, now let's look at it before and after. Before, after, before, and after. Next, I'll go to the Detail tab. I will double-click the Zoom tool to get to 100%. And I will start with the sharpening. Oh, that's bad. So i got to be really careful in the sharpening on this one. Let me see what happens with the luminance noise. Take out some of that noise. Oh, okay, that's looking a little bit better now. Oh, yeah. There we go which then I can increase the sharpening a little bit more. Okay. Let me fit in views. I can look at something else at 100%. One, two, three. Four, five. Okay, and let me look at a preview. Before, oof, after, good. Before and after, I'm happy with it. So I would click done. Unfortunately, that will close it. So now I have to go back to the other photo here to open it back up. That's the thing I don't like about it. I could have just clicked on the other picture, sure, but I get in, sometimes I get in the habit of clicking the done. That's just a mistake, but you don't have to do it that way, of course. So let me click on the other photo. Okay, this is a nice photo. It's updating the preview here. So let me click the white balance tool because we obviously know this shirt is white. Okay, great. Now let me adjust the exposure because we can see we're missing some exposure. We do have something here being clipped. I'm going to leave that on for a second. First I'm going to increase the lighting here so I can see the beautiful faces. Okay, I'm going to do the recovery next. See how when I use the recovery what's happening? Some of that um, clipping is disappearing. I'm going to watch what happens when I use the fill light. You'll see a lot of it disappear quickly. Okay. But that's a little bit too much. There's always a balance. I'm not too worried about this area in the back because what's important is these people. Be careful of clarity on people. It can make them look good, as you can see here. But a little bit does help. And let me do the vibrance. Watch the yellow shirt. Nice, huh? Don't overdo it. <laughs> okay, just a little bit more. I give them a beautiful tan. On the third tab here is called cal camera calibration. And if you notice that my, this says the process is current. This is the most current process for um, ACR uh, Adobe Camera Raw. If you are editing these photos in an earlier version, probably the 2003 will come up. It's always great to update to the most current. And the camera profile, you have Adobe Standard. I usually leave it at Adobe Standard. Uh, but it also uh, will show you different modes of your camera. So if I didn't like Adobe Standard, I can choose this one. And because I'm on Windows, I can press the down arrow and look at different modes and see how it would work. Okay, so I'm going to go back to this. Let me put some more magenta into it. I'm going to be careful here.
such a fine line.